Actress Nicola Peltz Beckham has been around in Hollywood for a handful of years, and apparently people have varying opinions on the actress. But since this is the brutal and unjust world of the internet, this is Where Are They Now? And today, we're talking about the apparent top 10 reasons that Nicola Peltz is hated in Hollywood. Coming in at number 10 is Bella Thorne. Back in 2015, actress Bella Thorne talked to Seventeen magazine about why she hates a mysterious, unnamed young woman in Hollywood. While she didn't name one specific person, Bella gave a few hints about who the mysterious woman is. Other than saying she stays away from this person at all costs, she has described the mean girl as someone who has been a billionaire since she was very little, who is in the business with siblings, and that she's never had to work for anything in her life. She says that this person being a billionaire isn't the problem, but more so that she makes sure everyone knows she's a billionaire, and she uses her privilege to bully other people and treat them as inferior. There are a few potential individuals who could fit the part of the mystery mean girl, including some Jenners and Hadids, but given Bella's friendship with both parties, the frontrunner, by all accounts, is model and actress Nicola Peltz. Her father really is a billionaire, and she has seven siblings and two half-siblings. She got into major films without much experience and she's rumored to have been a bully in high school. Not to mention, Nicola also starred in the 2014 independent film Affluenza, opposite Greg Sulkin, who is Bella's main squeeze. Number 9. Nepotism As I said in the last point, Nicola comes from a large and very wealthy family. Her father is billionaire businessman Nelson Peltz, and her mother is Claudia Hefner Peltz, a businesswoman and a former model. Nelson himself is worth a whopping $1.5 billion, which actually outshines the Beck family's combined net worth. The family lives on a sprawling estate in Bedford, New York, and owns an equally luxurious spread in Florida, which boasts 27 bedrooms, sits on 13 acres, and has its own private beach. Nicola also has seven siblings. Her brother Brad Peltz was drafted to play professional hockey for the Ottawa Senators in 2009. A few of her brothers went into business like their father with Matthew Peltz and Diesel Peltz, both winding up on the Forbes 30 Under 30 for finance and consumer technology, respectively. Her older sister, Brittany, is bigger in the world of fashion as a designer, and was pretty casual when she mentioned that she got advice from frickin' Vera Wang. So yeah, her family is pretty successful, feeding off of the connections they have acquired by being the children of Nelson. And Nicola is no different. She started acting from a young age, using connections to land her agent when she was around 11 years old. Number 8. Not the nannies. Being from such a life of privilege, the Peltz family had help in the form of nannies and butlers. There's nothing wrong with that. These jobs exist for a reason. But what is wrong is the way that those people were sometimes treated. And apparently, Nicola was the one who treated them the worst. In one of the worst examples of this, Peltz reportedly summoned a butler to the master bathroom after she discovered drops of pee pee on the toilet seat. She demanded that the butler clean it up, which he did, but then insisted that he clean the toilet seat again and again. Four more cleanings of the same toilet seat later and Peltz ordered one more for luck. Apparently, Peltz picked up on some kind of attitude from the butler and informed him that she didn't like it, so she dismissed him on Easter Sunday. Apparently, as a child, Nicola would routinely threaten maids that her daddy will fire them if they don't do as she asks. Her last nanny was reportedly hauled out of the house by two bodyguards. So yeah, I don't know. Apparently, new faces appear at the house on an almost weekly basis. The family was also apparently known for punishing staff for eating leftover food that was destined for the garbage, so that's something. Number 7. Jelly This one, in my opinion, is just a tidbit of stupidity. Not on Nicola's part, but on the internet's. Nicola posted a picture on her Instagram account showing her being hugged from behind by her designer friend, Giuliano Calza. Calza grabs her from behind and gives her a kiss on the cheek, and he jokingly posted in the comments of the photo, quote, make Brooklyn jelly. Some fans immediately had their underwear tied in a knot on this though, hurling out claims that Nicola is purposely trying to make Brooklyn, her husband, actually jealous. What many fans may have missed was the second image in this post, which shows Brooklyn there with several lip marks on his right cheek and posing with his wife. Despite the fact that they both appear and that everything apparently has a joking tone, there was no shortage of fans who strongly criticized the images published by the actress. One fan wrote in the comments, quote, Dear Brooklyn, this woman is humiliating you. Enough is enough. While another fan also wrote, quote, This is so disrespectful to Brooklyn. You used him by name. Ugh. 
What all these commenters failed to realize, other than Brooklyn being in the second image and covered in lipstick kisses, is that Kaza is gay. Luckily, some other more observant fans pointed this out, saying, quote, how come no one realizes that he's not only gay, but a designer? You're all too gullible. Number six, the Hadids. Before Nicola would go on to date and then marry Brooklyn Beckham, she had a rather short relationship with another Hollywood Nepo baby. Nicola dated Anwar Hadid, the brother of Bella and Gigi Hadid, for two or three years. Now, anyone hating on Nicola for their eventual breakup should take note of the fact that it seems like Anwar here is actually the problem. In 2018, amid their relationship, Anwar was photographed making out with and cuddling Ken Kendall Jenner for like two hours or something like that. The relationship was pretty instantaneously done at that point, with Nicola being super dramatic and unfollowing literally all the Hadids except for some cousins. And the Hadids seemed to instantly do the same with the younger family members, seemingly also erasing all of her pictures from their timelines, like she never existed. The thing is, they have apparently not done that with anybody else. They still have The Weeknd and Zayn on several of their timelines, so it seems this is just a Nicola thing. Will we ever know why? No, probably not. Number five, golden teeth. As with a few points on this list, I'm not sure this is totally a reason to hate Nicola or even her husband, but these two weirdos got one of each of their wisdom teeth, had them encased in a gold mold, and had them turned into necklaces. Normally you see matching heart necklaces or something else like that, but golden wisdom teeth necklaces is a new one. I can honestly see how it could be kind of cute. Actually, no, I can't. It's weird, and I don't like it. Yes, maybe this point is just my personal preference, but this couldn't be me. I don't know. Pelts posted a close-up of their matching golden chains to her Instagram story on March 25th, writing, I got our wisdom teeth made into necklaces at Brooklyn Beckham. You're my best friend. Brooklyn followed this up with his own story the same day, writing, the best gift from my best friend and the most amazing fiance. I love you like crazy. So at least they're both happy. The pair also spent that day getting matching tattoos, and Brooklyn actually has quite a few tattoos for his wife. As long as they don't pull on Megan Fox and MGK and drink each other's blood and get rings that hurt when you take them off, I guess we can let this one slide. Number four, wedding planners. In April 2022, Nicola and Brooklyn Beckham married each other in a ceremony held at her parents' estate in Palm Beach, Florida, the one with the 27 rooms. While the wedding itself was star-studded and really nice, there was behind-the-scenes drama that led to legal action. Nicola's father, Nelson, filed a lawsuit against the wedding planners, planned design events, citing that the deposit he put down for their services was never returned. The wedding planners themselves were reportedly replaced just nine days into the planning process because, according to the lawsuit, they misrepresented themselves regarding their experience, expertise, and capability of planning the wedding. But planned design events hit back with a countersuit citing breach of contract, naming Nicola and her mother as third parties in the suit. In their legal documents, they made some interesting claims about how Nicola spent over $100,000 on hair and makeup for the wedding, and how details of planning the wedding were supposed to be kept from Victoria Beckham, Brooklyn's mom. But daddy was having none of that. In March 2023, Nelson Peltz filed to remove his wife and daughter from the proceedings, and a document from his lawyers stated States, quote, PDE, that's the company, shamefully attempts to falsely portray Nicola in an extremely negative light to entice the media and hopefully pressure Mr. Peltz to dismiss his well-founded claims against PDE. While this was tailor-made for the tabloids, it could not be further from the truth. We don't know who will be winning this case just yet, but nothing like having your dad fight your legal battles, right? Number three, posh spicy drama. But that was not the only drama that came out of the dreamy yet somewhat problematic wedding. Now, depending on your take, this could totally be fluffed up drama from the tabloids. What essentially went down here is that when Nicola Peltz Beckham walked down the aisle last April to marry Brooklyn Beckham, she did so in custom Valentino haute couture. Now, why does that matter? It really doesn't. But basically, this caused an uproar online because the Valentino was worn in place of a dress being designed by Brooklyn's mom, Victoria Beckham. Nicola spoke on this in an interview with Variety where she said, quote, I was going to wear Victoria Beckham and I really wanted to, and then a few months down the line, she realized that her atelier couldn't do it. So then I had to pick another dress. She didn't say you can't wear it. I didn't say I didn't want to wear it. That's where it started and then they ran with it. So apparently there wasn't actually any real drama. It just worked out differently. And to prove that it probably wasn't actually a problem, we know Nicola did wear a Victoria Beckham original for her engagement photos with Brooklyn in July 2020. So why the wedding dress would matter so much as to cause drama is anyone's guess. Number two, 
to family dirty linen. But because the drama was circulated around, leading to several headlines about it, Nicola and Brooklyn did respond to those claims, which led to a David Beckham confrontation with Brooklyn Beckham. A source told the Daily Mail, quote, I don't think David has ever lost his temper with Brooklyn or had cause to talk to him harshly, but that has now finally happened. The source said that David apparently read the riot act to his eldest child. Apparently, a few of the exact words said were, quote, we don't do this in our family, and you know that we don't do this in our family. And also, quote, what happens next is up to you, but we are done with the drama. David was upset over comments made by Peltz and Brooklyn in an interview for Grazia US Fall 2020 cover story, where Brooklyn said, quote, To be honest, my wife is obviously my first priority, and I never want to see her upset ever. When people do slash say ridiculous things, we just talk about it and we just move on. We have each other's back 100% and we just move on together. Apparently, David was really appalled by the Grazia interview because it seemed to be washing the family dirty linen in public. That's a quote. That's what he said. So it's more a matter of, son, just don't talk about it with anyone than anything really damaging. And finally, in at number one, bad actress. Look, I'm sorry to say this because it's not exactly fair, but it just kind of seems like people don't like Nicola Peltz because she's just a bit of a bad actress. That feels really mean to say considering how she is barely even a C-list actress so far in her career, and it is arguably a subjective opinion to have, but people on the internet seem to have this common complaint against the actress. Her biggest roles so far in her career have been in 2014's Transformers Age of Extinction, 2010's The Last Airbender, and the TV series Bates Motel. Now for both Transformers and The Last Airbender, those movies earned abysmal ratings of 17% and 5% on Rotten Tomatoes. Five. Both movies independently got Nicola nominated for the Worst Supporting Actress at the Golden Raspberry Awards in 2011 and 2015, but she did receive a few breakout performer nominations and wins for Transformers. On the other hand, Bates Motel was pretty universally loved, and Nicola played a main role for Season 1, with a recurring role in Season 2 and 3. But she doesn't seem to be anything phenomenal, and that opinion, mixed with her Nepo baby status and the apparently rich girl mean personality thing, hasn't rubbed people the right way. But there you go, that's the 10 reasons I could scavenge up for why Nicola Peltz is hated in Hollywood. Any opinions? Well, leave them down below and we will catch you guys next time on Where Are They Now? Peace out.